Here's how to set up payments as an OnlyFans management agency. All right, so you have two options when collecting payments for your services. So you're managing a model, right? Now I'm assuming that your pitch was, we will split the revenue. We normally do 50-50, you'll split the revenue however you say. Now in order to obtain your cut, you have two ways of doing this. The first way is, you can replace the model's bank information with yours slash your agency's. Now, if you're doing this, you can replace all the banking information except for the model's name. As soon as you replace the model's name, boom, goodbye account, now you're getting no revenue whatsoever. So if you're swapping the model's bank info out with yours slash your agency's, make sure you leave the, model na uh, the model's name. Now, the thing with this is there are a lot of virtual banks, well, most of them, I think, won't like that. As soon as you swap the name out, it just won't work. It works particularly well, well, especially with brick and mortar banks. So, you know, banks that actually have a location. The OGs, the OGs. You can swap the name out, no rows at all. The money will still go into that account. That's what I noticed anyway. So you can do that. That's cool. I understand a lot of people want to do that because, I don't know, they're scared of the model running off with the money. So they want to swap the banking info with theirs. Then they'll withdraw all the earnings revenue and then they'll send the model their cut because they want to be in control. They don't want the model to run off. Cool, no worries at all. I'm not judging you. Now, that can come with a couple of difficulties. First of all, it's a hard sell. So if you haven't been doing this for a while, you're on your first model or you haven't really worked with the model for very long, this is gonna be a hard sell. As soon as you say, all right, I'm gonna be swapping the banking info, it's gonna be a bit uh, touch and go there for a minute. The other thing is you can't swap the banking info without the model signing off on it because they're gonna get an email, verify, and then they need to approve. Then you swap the banking info. Not that you wanna do it in secret anyway. It's mainly just a hard sell. The other method is leave everything as is. And at the end of the month, you send your invoice to the model saying, here's everything your account has earned for the month. Then here's the percentage we agreed on, minus that. And then this is what you ask and just send it to this bank account. That's it. So you have those two methods. You can replace the banking info, no worries at all. But if you do that, make sure you leave the model's name as is, and then find a virtual bank that doesn't mind this. Now, first of all, I'll say right off the bat, don't use wise for that, they're dogs. I got banned for doing that. I was using it for everything, using it for business, money going in now, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, one day they call up, hey, can we get some more info about your business? I get an info, cool, no worries. And then next minute, you have to withdraw all your money within the next 48 hours and you are banned. But here's the thing about invoicing models, all right? Now, I do this with nearly all of our models. I'm about to soon do it with all of our models because I've realized, you know what? If you do a good job, they don't run. Why would they run when they can make more money if they stay with you? And those are the two methods you can use. So first method, you can swap the banking info with yours slash your agencies, but leave the model's name as it is. It won't work with all virtual banks, especially not wise, don't go there. It will work with all, well, nearly all brick and mortar banks. That doesn't matter. You can swap the name willy nilly. They could send it to John Doe and it'll still land your account as long as you have the right banking info. Second method, invoice the model. Leave everything as is. Model doesn't get spooked. All the model does is at the end of the month, she pushes withdraw. All the, all the earnings revenue goes to her. And then you quickly write up your invoice, date it, whatever. As I said, here's the terms we agreed on. Here's a percentage split. You owe us this, send it to this bank account by the state. Boom, done, that's it. I see a lot of people saying, ah, oh, but the model might run off with the cash and then I'll just, I don't trust them. Oh, nah, fuck it, I'm gonna invoice them weekly. I'm gonna invoice them. Look, if you are that worried, then you are doing a shitty job because if you were doing a really good job for the model, then you can have confidence that they're not gonna go anywhere because they will lose more money running with whatever earnings you made for that month than they will if they stay with you. Now, if you like the source, Go join the Discord via the link below. A lot more source in there, including scripts done for you, templates, methods, tools, videos. It's essentially a course in the Discord. It's fucking insane. It's only 49 bucks a month. And if you like the video, go smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one.